Hi, I'm Kristen Amdahl and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace an interior round in a circle of crochet, aka crochet surgery. Let's get started. <laughs> So if you've been watching my Create, Share, Inspire podcast, you will be aware that one of these interior rounds, I didn't put enough chains in the repeat. And so it was a single crochet chain four on round five, and I'm going to replace it with a round of single crochet chain five in this video. Using a blocking mat and pins to secure the medallion, I pinned out a circle two rounds larger than where I want to work. I'm going to be working on rounds five and six, so I pinned out on round seven. Next, I located the beginning and end of round five, the round that I want to remove, and I cut the beginning and end of the round to begin the process of removing round five. When unraveling in crochet, it's important to recognize where the beginning and end of the round is because once you locate the end of the round, that's the side that is much easier to unravel back through your work. Sometimes I like to use a yarn needle to help guide the yarn through to begin the unraveling process. I mistakenly tried to start unraveling the yarn from the beginning of the round instead of the end of the round, but I'm keeping it in to show you in the video that this is a little bit of a fiddly process, and it's okay if you make the mistake. You just, once you realize that it's not going to unravel from one end, that's a good solid indication that it's time to start working from the other end. Notice how it's easy to unravel the single crochet and the chains, but the yarn is still threaded through the double crochets on the following round. And so where we did the single crochet chain four in the original round five, in the following round, we worked a double crochet into those chain four spaces. So now we need to unthread the yarn through those double crochets as we're unraveling the single crochet chain four. Those double crochets are intact and we will be securing into them when we replace the round five with a single crochet chain five. We're now ready to replace the round five and we're re replacing a repeat of single crochet chain four with a repeat of single crochet chain five. So it will take a little more yarn and for that reason I will not be reusing the piece of yarn I used for the original round five. You want to tie your yarn to your crochet hook and begin working on the round four just like you would the original round five by working a single crochet into the chain spaces. We start by slip stitching to join chain one and single crochet in that chain space. We're now going to work a chain five but in order to secure it to the following round six in those double crochets that were worked into round five originally, we're going to replace the chain five with a chain two slip stitch into that double crochet on that following round, chain two, and it's that chain two slip stitch chain two that counts as our new chain five space then single crochet in the next chain space on our interior motif. Notice how I'm having to hold my crochet hook a little bit differently here as well. That's because I'm trying to work onto a fabric that is fixed, lying flat on that board. And in order to do that, I find it's a little bit easier to work the knife hold if you are already familiar with the, knife, the mm. knife hold, then this won't be too much of a challenge for you. But if you're used to holding in a pencil hold with your crochet hook, 
you will find that you might want to experiment with how you hold your crochet hook in order to get the right spacing between the yarn and the work. Notice that I'm kind of fiddling with my yarn and the hook as well, and that's because I'm trying to get used to working onto a fixed surface like this instead of having the flexibility of holding my work in, the, in my hands. You want to take your time, you want to have patience with yourself. If you get a little stressed out while you're doing this, it is okay. Just walk away for a little bit. I know it's a bit of a stressful experience to cut your work in the middle like this, but as you can see from this video, it is doable, it is possible. Just give yourself a break, take your time, walk away if you need a break, it's okay, uh, and come back to it when you're fresh. And and you can absolutely fix an interior round of crochet without having to unravel all your work. You have two options when you're working all the way around. You can either move your board or you could move yourself if you want to walk in the different directions around the table that's fine or you would end up moving your board i moved in 90 degree increments so i just keep moving it 90 degrees as i worked my way all the way around the circle I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please always feel welcome to leave them for me in the comments. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.